from the Comet British Tier 7 Medium. And we're going to get phenomenal matchmaking here on this May the 3rd. We are looking at a sunny Friday afternoon here in Central Texas. As we are ready to set the stage for the World Championships of World of Tanks. The mid-tier match. Showcasing Cromwells all the way down to T28s. That was, that was, sorry, I just had to do a little bit of an answer there. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll out, and they're off as we're looking for a great match here on Eden. Relatively well-matched teams, though the, the, the blue team seems to have an advantage of the Churchill 7. Rather, when the red team has two Cromwells, though Cromwells are incredibly lethal due to their speed and powerful cannon. We're going to see how we get in this match of World of Tanks. We have a ma the majority of the team is going city as we have a few guys going mid, rushing their mediums that are in the middle of the map. The Churchill 7 has been spotted. He is headed on he's the, the, the outskirts of the city. Is where he is headed. Cromwell is doing some scouting along the lines. Uh, the ELC is on fire in the middle. Their scouts have been lost, but their almost entire team has been lit. Going middle and still trying to get out of their spawn. Confused as to what they're going to be doing here. Giving them a slight advantage as far as placement for their tanks goes. They know what they're up against and where they are at for the beginning part of this matchup. Cromwell getting a little overzealous here as he's going after a KV-1. Penetration. Penetration. They're hit. Cromwell sets the KV-1 on fire. There goes KV-1. City is being slowly taken by the by the red team. Enemy is hit. Churchill one has been tracked at the city by the Cromwell, putting a beating on his rear. 154 a shot. Is he going to be able to finish him before the track is done? One more shot from the, to the Churchill. Churchill is gone. Panzer three four is all that's left to worry about, but they have scouts in the red team's base. Cromwell is going for that 3-4. See if he can't finish up that mess. Churchill 7 is still... The Churchill 7 is no longer in play, be advised. Blue is now down their, disadvan their advantage. The Cromwell has a large advantage as far as rate of fire goes against this 3-4. Bounces a shot, Cromwell finishes the 3-4. We're looking at quite the matchup here, is this 12-8? Only three left, including a two kill Cromwell. We have uh, Subrox, one of the Cromwells for the blue team, red team, excuse me, sorry, is headed to assist the other Cromwell against an easy eight. Easy eight's down, Cromwell's all that's left. He's dealing with a heavy. The two Cromwells are going for the cap. The Crom, the other, the, no, 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 the red team Cromwell, the blue team Cromwell is in trouble going up against a KV-1. Cromwell takes out the KV-1. We're looking at a showdown here. Only one man left for the blue team. Red having six left, including Cromwell's with three kills each. The base cap is at 56. Cromwell for the red team is taking shots. I mean, sorry, blue team is taking shots against a T-3485 and an M4 Sherman. Cromwell is putting a beating on both of the tanks. Cromwell's hit, Cromwell is down. That's gonna be it for the World Championships of World of Tanks. Red team has won. Finishing off with the top MVP players in RS Loud and Sebrox with the Cromwell slots in the top. Coming out with an amazing 1,000 XP for Sevrox, over 57,000 credits earned, getting a Master Gunner and Sniper Award.
coming out on the top of the team with 916 XP. Ladies and gentlemen, Severox has now unlocked the Comet British Tier 7 Medium Tank. That was awesome.